Bronco Studios in Oklahoma City. This is OU Basketball with Mike Baldwin. I'm Jenny Carlson. Mike, Lon Kruger's been on the job a couple weeks. We wondered were there going to be players out there for him to get. Lo and behold, looks like he might have gotten a couple guys. Who, who are these guys? Well, the first one he got was Sam Grooms, a point guard. Did a lot of people criticize Carl Blair last year? I thought he played a little better than a lot of people gave him credit. But this is a guy that's going to come in and push for the starting job, which is one thing people thought they needed. They're going to get Romero Osby, the transfer in. Robert Goff, another junior college guy they tried, uh, signed in November, is going to come in. So the roster will be revamped, and I think they're going to be a little better than people thought. The other one's not official yet. Let me see if I don't butcher this name. Mahat Mabai, I think. He born in Senegal. Okay. Grew up in France, came over and played in the United States. He played at Wyoming the last two years against Lon Kruder in, in the conference, so he had seen him, and evidently there was rumors that he made contact, and the rumors are that he's going to come to OU, and he'll have to sit out a year. But this is how he built his teams in U, at UNLV. He had guys that were transferred. He had six on UNLV's roster last year, UCLA, Kentucky, Kansas, Marquette. So he's famous for rebuilding teams with transfers who are not happy where they were. So it looks like that may be one of the tricks he's trying to get already. All right. And one of the one of the other things we know is he's really starting to build this, uh, this coaching staff. His latest hire, a guy from just up the road at ORU. Right. He brought two assistants with him from UNLV. This guy, Crutchfield from ORU. The reason he wanted him, he said he wanted somebody with Oklahoma and Texas ties. Well, guess what? Two years TCU. He was at uh, junior college down there, Tyler, for uh, two years as a head coach, two years as assistant coach. He's been down there nine years. He also worked with Henson in New Mexico. And then, of course, he's got ORU ties, which is four-year Oklahoma. So he's got a lot of recruiting ties in this area, and that's the main reason why he wanted him. That's his reputation. Lastly, Lon Kruger, been on the job a couple weeks. Obviously, anytime you come into a new job it's going to be busy but it seems like he's really done a lot and not just the the stuff that had to be done as far as recruiting and uh, a coaching staff he's gone out and, and sort of been everywhere it seems like yeah evidently he's going to the cafeteria talking with students trying to build that up he challenged everybody right out of the get-go we're all in this together I'm just in a partnership I'm just jumping on on all the history that's been there once I leave it will continue he's really selling that hard because the interest did wane a little bit under Capel as we know so I think he's really one of those guys that wants everybody on board he he knows it's a football school. He knows uh, basketball will be second fiddle. But I think at the same time, he knows there's a lot of fans out there he can reach, and that's what he's trying to do right from the start. All right. Thanks, Mike. Hey, stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoman.